guys for coming out from Mumbai. Um, before this gentleman, I mean the young man's death, I didn't even know much about I like his music. I listened to his songs, but um, when he died and everything um, came into the open, I started looking into his, into his um, past and I realized that his name is Imole. And I think this guy has actually, um, through his death, has shed light on the darkness that engulfs, that is involved in Nigerian music, African music, that is a great, great export. It's a great export. But we are, the, 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 and this thing has gone beyond Africa now. It's gone beyond Nigeria, I mean. It's in the West Indies, it is everywhere. But the federal government, I have a problem, and the problem is that the federal government, I mean, the Nigerian police force, they have actually exhumed the body they said they conducted the autopsy. So what is hard in letting us know the result of the autopsy? If it's going to take two weeks. Okay, hopefully, you know, we'll know the result. But Naira Mali and everybody, because I've listened to some of the videos that are making the rounds on the internet, um, they are actually accusing, or maybe they are talking about other artists that are involved in this kind of bullying and um, courtesy that is engulfed in the industry and um, I just want to say that I will appeal to um, the Nigerian police force um, to make sure that a proper investigation is done and um, that the culprits are held responsible thank you God bless uh, Mubayad God bless his child and um, his parents his mom, his dad at least we don't know whether his and his wife, yes. Thank you guys for coming out once again. Thank you. Uh, now, DJ, uh, DJ uh, the next person now is Fatima Ali from Sierra Leone, right? Yes. God bless you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm from Sierra Leone. We're back with you. Hello, I'm not going to make a long speech. I just want to encourage us. I just want to. My name is uh, Abosede Latrendi. They call me Lady B Latrendi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, a uh, few things I just want to say. And what happened to Mole is an eye-opener to every parent. It's really an eye-opener, not to only Mole's parents, but also to all parents all over the world. And the thing is, um, sometimes we take many things for granted. 
is every worldwide. More bad the world. But my people have said it all. Especially my brother here, former President Nas from Nigeria. Um, thank, you. thank you for the good message. You pass the message to each and every one of us and to Nigeria as a whole. Guys, let's leave Mobad for now. Let's check ourselves. Are you Sam Larry within your friends? Are you a Naira Mali in your family? I, I know some of us were guilty of what we are accusing Naira Mali for. There are times our friends will tell us they don't want to have anything to do with us. But we will be busy spreading bad things about them that are not true just to bring them down. Like they said, not alone, but Nera Mali killed Mobad so, but he didn't kill Mobad. Even in death, Mobad is still shining. The light is everywhere. Like one of my sister just said, I'm gonna say the same thing. Nera Mali, we are sorry. You I'm sorry, Mobad, you are sorry because you passed the message. Through your sons, you went to a police station, you went everywhere, you called the necessary authority, yet we didn't give you listening air until you're dead. No bad. Please forgive each and every one of us who were supposed to have done better than this. We failed you. And thank you for dying for music industry because we know a lot of people are going through this kind of thing. And no one is doing anything. I know each and every one of them are calling themselves to order. And I know our forefathers that are musicians, ex-musicians, that has gone through this kind of thing in olden days. And yet it's still happening. This is the time we need to stop it. We need justice. Yeah. Police are saying, and Naramali didn't, I mean, Nar Naramali has not been found guilty because they are still carrying, are carrying out some research or whatever. I don't give, I don't care. I'm sorry, I don't want to use that word. I don't care. As long as the video is online, they are supposed to arrest Naira Mali and Sam Larry. I say this everywhere. I'm, I'm an indigenous of Lagos State. I say this with my full chest. Naira Mali and Sam Larry needs to be arrested and questioned. With the video we are seeing online, it's terrorizing, it's affecting every one of us. Every one of us is in place because we can't sleep. Please, Nigerian government, I'm talking to the IG of police. If you don't do the right thing this time around, this is the time for you to erase the bad name you guys have given yourself. This is that for you to do the needful. If you fail to do the needful, you're going to see the youth other side. Please do the needful, and I want to say justice for Mobad. All right, let go. This is your Chede to give our speech. Please, we need more men. Men, please, let's say something. If you ask some men, maybe Baba Mobad. Um, you know, it's about your mother, it's about mobile. You understand that, but please follow the content. Please. Let's give people that are seen behind a respect. Please, you want to make a video, please go back. Uh, the next person is Shane. Uh, please come and stay uh, behind uh, the back of his name. God bless you. Hello everyone, thank you for coming out. Thank you all for coming out. First, um, what I want to say is, Mobad, we are sorry. We failed you. Nigerians failed you. You made videos. You made a report. You tweeted. 
you sang, you reached out to people, it all fell on deaf ears. We are sorry that you had to pay the ultimate price for us to hear you. That's where it eats me the most. And please, for, for NDLA, we, have, we need answers. Nigerian police force, we need answers. Please. And for if there's anybody that is still bullying, going through bullying, intimidation, oppression, kindly speak up. Kindly speak up. And at this point, I pray Mubad finds peace. Amen. I pray that it's, it's, we need to treat ourselves better and stop just. We, should, we shouldn't just hate people just because we cannot dim their lights. Now they've killed them. They still could. Like, look at the global impact. We made more money than it could were alive. He's made more money than Naramali, Samlari, the extended generation to the second generation in a couple fucking days. So please, the wrong petitions and they swept it under the carpet. So I'm not sure there was anything he could have done differently to stay alive. He tried. He said something. He spoke up and nobody believed him. And to be honest, one or two people here would definitely have situations where they're going to be able to relate to the in some, some, to some extent. So, how do we treat ourselves? Nigerians and diaspora, Nigerians and Nigeria. How do we treat ourselves when you bully people, when you lie against your friends, and you recruit people to hate the people that you hate?